friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Dootly Has Plants. In today's video, we are planning the week of July 4th through the 10th in my plum paper vertical columns. So let's get started. Alrighty friends, so for this week, which is 4th of July week, I have this really darling kit from Ever Changing Plants. It's called Party Like 1776. And what I have here are, it's the full kit and it has full boxes and this is why I bought it. Look at these darling gnomes, Uncle Sam. <laughs> I think they are so cute, I just had to have them. So I have the full boxes. It's got a couple of functional ones down below. This is half and quarter boxes, some cute little scallop labels, some headers, some little checklist things here. And then this has a bottom washi, which it's gorgeous. I just don't know if I'll have room to use it or where I could use it. So we'll have to take a look. We've got date headers, some more functional things, and then lots of icons and scripts. How fun is this? I love it. Alrighty, so I also pulled some additional washi. This is a checkered, kind of like gingham on the bias washi. I believe this is from Planner Kate. And then I just have some solid navy blue and red from Michaels. This is the package I have. I got it from Michaels on sale like a while ago. So it's just solid rainbow washi. I pull from it from time to time. Okay, so we are going to get started here. And let's see, let's see. So we've got dates here. And then what do I have? need to kind of think about this because I don't know so I want to put a washi down here and I'm wondering if I should do like I could do this little thin checker gingham here I just what I'm wondering is let's kind of take a test piece here this is brand new I've not even ever used it so this is going to be a little narrower right so if I put this down probably going to want to white it out a little bit because that blue gray under there is so dark but if I put this header down, is that going to be able to cover? The other thing is, one thing I've noticed too, which I've seen is really cute, is folks will put the dates down here and then they'll put a piece of washi over the top. So like if I did this and then did something like this, that's kind of crazy. That's a different look, huh friends? Ooh, I might try that out. I might just do that. How fun. Okay, let's put these down here. I've gotten so spoiled with date strip headers that doing the individual boxes, I don't think I'm going to be very good at placing them even in straight. <laughs> so, of course, I probably should use my tweezers. That would help. So let's do this. Let's get all these down. It's actually... Sunday the 3rd, so I'm feeling pretty good about getting my videos filmed. And finally, so this week that I'm planning right here, obviously we're, we're off and out of the office on Monday for the holiday, so that's great. But I'm so excited because I am going to be in the office all week. So between, so in the month of June, my friend Francis and I counted it up because he was teasing me about only working Fridays in the month of June. <laughs> but in the month of June, because I had COVID, for a week and a half. So I was out of the office that long. And then I immediately left. We had the Juneteenth holiday. I immediately left for a conference out of town the day after the holiday. So I wasn't in the office then until Friday. And then following that, we headed out of town for Emma's orientation. And then we spent time out of town that whole week. I did go into the office again on Friday. So we counted on Friday how many days I actually was in the office working. And it was something like, I don't know, seven days total out of the month. Okay, I need to get some white out. Okay, so because that washi is a little thin and a little see-through, I'm just gonna kind of white these dates out just to make sure that they don't show through. And I think this is better than trying to white out the dark blue that I covered with the date headers because like I said, that washi is a little bit thin and it's got white in it, so it's relatively see-through, relatively sheer. So I think this is going to be a better option. I'm leaving some spots, but I'm getting most of it. 
So yeah, I'm really excited. I know that sounds crazy. I'm excited to just be in the office. I need to be working with my new hire, Christina, and getting her situated more and just spending more time with her. I feel so bad. I was like, I'm so sorry. But she's like, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, oh yeah, I think this was a good idea, friends. Okay, let's do this. I love these washi. I think this was washi that was paired with the little cherry kit that Planner Kate had last year. Because I know I have that. Oh, I could also use that washi too. That would look good with this, I think. The little chair. Oh, sometimes when the washi is really thin, it's hard to tear it. So I'm going to go ahead and see if it will cut better because it was kind of coming up as I tried to tear it. So let's see if this works better. Oops. It's not sticking very well there. Let me get some tweezers here. That's better. Okay. Oh, that looks so good. I love mixing and matching and just kind of making your own thing. Okay, so let me try to get this right on the edge here. There we go. We're just going to string this down, try to get it as straight as possible. My date headers are not super straight, so that's going to kind of make it a little harder. But there we go. Now we got it going. Oh, I'm so happy I did that. That is so cute. Okay, so the colors in this kit are sort of this navy and red, white, obviously, and then this lighter blue here. So I think what I'm going to do is pull a pen that's more this color, this lighter blue, and use that to kind of highlight my walk area. Okay, so I pulled my mild liner. This is from my smaller set, this 10 count piece. They're a little brighter in color than the... 16 piece set so I'm gonna do this here because I just you know what it's getting kind of bulky here friends we're here at the middle of the year and I can feel a lot of that bulkiness from all of my date strip headers so I'm going to take an Erin Condren cover this is a little trick that I watched on YouTube I'm just going to slip it underneath here so that I have a little more of a flat even surface oh this is much better having that underneath that works great. Okay, I know this is looking a little dark right now, but when it dries, it'll dry up really nice and bright. I think it'll look really good. And of course, on this side, I don't have to worry about it because there's no stickers under here. I haven't been walking a ton. It's been super hot. And of course, like I said, the month of June, I was all over the place. But last week when I was up at our cabin, I walked uh, almost every day, I think, yeah. Okay, there we go, cool. Okay, now for my to-dos, I'm actually gonna use all of these today headers. I love it because there's plenty of them. So I am going to lay these down. Oops, get it peeled up. I have been looking so forward to using this kit, <laughs> like I said, because those gnomes are so cute. Friends, gnomes are super popular, so just let me know if you have jumped onto the gnome bandwagon. I have seasonal gnomes. I want to make sure that I, I like to do these in like an order where I go from the outside in. So I want the outside to be navy, and then I'm going to come into the blue, the lighter blue, and then the red. Okay, so I have red, white, and blue gnomes for like Memorial Day, 4th of July. I have a spring gnome. To kind of get me through like all the spring months and then I have Christmas gnomes for that time of year. <laughs> not a ton. I, I mean like I'm not crazy like I don't fully collect them but I do kind of collect them I guess. We're collectors in my family. I think I've shared that with you. All of our different collections. My one brother collects cars. I obviously collect stickers and gnomes. Oh and Santas. So I have a Santa collection. I do have a couple of nutcrackers, but I don't really say that I collect them. I only have like four, but I have a lot of Santas. So I like to put those out. And then my mom, oh my God, she is the master collector. She collects Lego sets. She collects, oh my gosh. I don't know if you remember that little knickknack called Just the Right Shoe, I think. All those little like porcelain or cera ceramic, not porcelain, ceramic shoes. Oh my God. She has like a case full of them. <gasps> 
That looks so cute. I'm really happy. Andy, if you're watching, this is such a darling kit. Okay, so now let's look at, oh, here, they're on the sheet. I was gonna say, I wanna look at these here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, which is more than I really need. I like having four little dots. So I'm gonna take my scissors, one, two, three, four, and I'm just gonna cut all of these down and then I'll place them. So let's see. Let's get a feel for what this is gonna look like. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Yeah, just like that. Oh, love it. Okay. So, yeah, I'm quite the crazy collector. I think we were last talking about that, but then I was saying earlier about how I'm excited to just be in the office getting a lot done. So. I will not be doing any planned days off. God forbid something happened and I have to take an unplanned day off. And I am not traveling. So at the end of the month, we have a board meeting and middle of the month, I have an executive committee meeting. So that's kind of why I will be in the office more and don't typically plan anything for July. July is really hard because it's when, you know, most families go on vacation. But for us, we always have a July board of trustees meeting at the end of the month. And so you spend, I spend the early part of the month planning all of the details. I don't know where the little red dot that I cut off flew to friends. If you see it somewhere, oh, I see it. It's in my coil down there. That's crazy. I don't normally travel or we don't normally take vacation in July. So I've always felt bad for my girls because all of their friends take off in July and do things with their families or whatnot. And they're stuck at home, but it's fine. Emma is actually out of town right now with one of her friends and their family. And it's funny because I kind of have to let her go. I have to get used to her not being around. And normally I'd be like, no, I want you to be home for 4th of July with us. But 4th of July is not a super, like, it's okay. Like, it's more of a fun holiday, like, where I wouldn't, you know, demand that being with the family's a priority. So if they have plans with friends or that kind of thing, I'm fine with it. So I did let her go just because, like I said, I kind of got to get used to letting her go and that she won't be home. And it's funny because my brothers are just, I don't think they're going to handle it well. Because <laughs> they're like, well, where's Emma? Well, why isn't Emma here? I'm like, she's out with friends. I mean, she's 18 now. And so it's kind of funny. It's very sweet, though. They're very attached. Okay, so now, let's see. I have all of these down here that I could do, but I don't have, like if I were trying to color coordinate, I only have two of the navy. I don't have a third one for right here. So there's a couple things, friends. What do we think? Okay, so I could lay down this red. Let's see. I could just do like a red or the blue. This is kind of like the washi is whiter than the, the box, which is fine. I don't know that I like the red. Let's see what I how I feel about the blue. The blue's okay, but here's a thought, friends. What if we went back to this gingham, which of course now this is probably gonna be a little narrower. Oh no, I think I mean it's just sits just inside. Let's see. We could bring back some of this gingham like that and kind of it anchors that section. I think we're doing it, friends. I think I like it. Okay, hopefully this will tear. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Sorry, got to flip the book around. And let's do this. Oops, I'm, gonna try to, I'm trying to get it more like in the middle of those lines just so you don't see. It, it's not as glaring than if I get right on top of it. Okay, I think this is working, friend. So yeah, so I think what we're planning to do for the fourth is go to my brother's for fireworks and dinner and all that kind of thing. Let me know what you guys are doing. Or by the time this goes up, what you've done. Oh, oh, I like it. Okay, no, that works perfect that I did the red because look at the weekend banner, it's blue. Yay. And I'm gonna put it just like this, just below the little gingham and let like, just kind of, there we go. 
Oh, so cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now down here on the bottom, I could go solid. I could do the solid. Oh my, see, I wanna do, I like to do my rings, but I really like this. Okay, hold on, oops. You know what, friends? We might just have to modify our little system here. Let me try to get this loose from here. Okay, I didn't want to rip that. Okay, so this is the short side, right? Yeah, let's see. I'm going to white some of this out because I think that gray is going to really show. Oh, the white out is much easier with this um, cover underneath the page. It's not like getting caught on all the bumps of the stickers. So that's nice. That was much more smooth. I'm putting this down and then we're going to figure out where I'm going to do my rings. I mean, I don't have to do my rings too. I mean, there's a thought because I just like that. Look at how cute. You got to use all the cute washi, right? So yeah, we just have some simple plans. I am going to make my little mini cheesecakes. They're so yum. So it's basically just, you know, cheesecake recipe, but I do them in little cupcake holders and on the bottom for the crust, it's a Nilla wafer. We love Nilla wafers. Who doesn't love a Nilla wafer, right? Doesn't that remind you of your childhood? And then on the top, I do cherry filling and blueberry filling. And then I make it into like, I place the cupcakes so that they look like a flag. Everybody loves it. It's a hit. Even kids will eat cheesecake when it looks like the little flag with the little, you know, in a little cupcake. So it's fun. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's so cute. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I kind of want to, let's see. We are still going to do my, we're still going to do my dots here, friends, but we're going to do something a little different here. Let's see. I need three. I'm just trying to bring in some blue here. Let's see. I wonder if I did this, just put like this solid blue here. This is kind of, there's a lot of red in this blue. It kind of reads a little tiny bit purple. What if we did this? Put this down and then did my dots in here. I'm gonna trim that friends. I just did it because it was the starting end and that end doesn't stick very good. So that brings in a little bit of this color because I, I have these, but like I said, I didn't wanna, I don't know. I feel like I just kind of want a solid line. And again, we go back to this issue of not having that third navy here. Not that that's a big deal. Mm. Let's see. If we had like red here. Uh, I think I like the solid line, friends. I can save these for other headers, okay. And I wanted to do some blue, or do we wanna do red? This red is not, I think I'm getting too much red. Yeah, I don't wanna do red. I'll do the blue. Okay, let me turn this back around. Sorry, we're just kind of all over, but you guys are planning on the fly with me here, so this is fun. I still need to scrub the bathrooms today. I got my shopping done. I just wanted to get that done early because I ran out to the commissary. So that is done, which is good. Okay, so one, two, three, I need to leave. So I'm gonna put this here. And I don't really need to go to, the, to Costco. Got a little bit of a ripple there. Smooth that out. If I need to go to Costco, I probably don't need to go till like middle of the week, so that's fine. I can always, Costco's like, my work is kind of halfway between our house and Costco, so I can always just go to Costco on my way home from, like, go to Costco after work and then come home. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so then let's just put these down since I'm just kind of getting my whole base down here. Okay, and then green comes next, I believe. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, green. I don't know why I can't remember this. I do it every week. <laughs> It's my foggy brain. I keep saying it's COVID and my mom keeps saying, no, honey, it's your age. 
I'm like, that's not nice. So yeah, so I've got lots of things done. All of my errands, I came home, we put all the groceries away and then I ran back out to Target because my niece, you'll see I have a ton of birthdays. So I got my birthday stuff done. Okay, now let's go over here. So let's first highlight the week we're in, which is the 4th through the 10th. So yeah, so I got all my chores done. That's, I mean, I'm sorry, I got all my errands done. Because when I come home, friends, are you like me? When I'm home, I'm home. Like, I'm done running around. So, like, that was really good. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm glad I saved these because I am going to, I kind of like this. I could do dark, but I kind of want to bring in some more of this light, maybe. I'm going to do this guy on in my little box area that I like to do a full box. So, let me see. Do I want to do the dark? Oh, I think he needs to be framed in the dark. I want to do him. Or do I want to do her? I want to do him here. So I'm going to put this here. So yeah, I ran to Target. Came home. I was transferring laundry. Put new sheets on the bed because I was doing that. And then... Had to trim my nails before I could film. <laughs> Trimmed up my nails. Let's see, we did maybe. And then got to filming. And then last night, I plugged my phone in. I plug my phone in every night. There's like a little niche we have in the kitchen where I plug my phone and my watch in. Oh, I like that. I was a little worried about this being so close to here, but you know what? It doesn't bother me, friends. It's okay. It's going to be fine. And then let's do... Let's see. These, I think... This is too big to put here because I think it'll cover. Actually, if I put it low, I was going to put it above this little line. If I cover the line, I think I'm okay. I was going to use one of these to put down my, the sweet. Let's see. I'm going to put this right like this. That little bit of the line is showing. So I'm just gonna wipe that little end off. There we go. And then I'm gonna use the sweep. We'll put this here. I love this little font and I love how many scripts you get. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so now we also have habit trackers. She's got two of them here. So, and then there's this, which I don't normally use these. So I'm gonna pull two more habit trackers to go with this. So I have this sheet from Planner Kate, and it looks like I have two red ones, which actually kind of works because what I think I'll do is, I'm gonna put these down. I'm gonna do this red one here, and then we'll do, this one here, and then we'll do another red one. Thankfully, I had two red ones. Do another red one here. I'm just kind of leaving a little bit of a slight gap between them, and then we'll do this light one up here. So cute. Okay. Oh, I like that. That looks good. And then I have to write these in a bunch of these because I'm I haven't refilled a bunch of my habits. So this is read. I didn't end up finishing my book while we were away because I was working a lot. So <laughs> that's unfortunate. I mean, but I don't mind working up there because we're just hanging out. It's not like anything major is going on. So I actually get a lot of work done. And then this one's my water. And then we have Walk Otis. So that's that. And then I saw a paw print on this sheet with all the scripts. Yeah. Here we go. Isn't it cute? It's got a little heart in it. So we're going to put this. Oh, he's kind of big. I'm going to put him off to the side here. There we go. Okay. 
Alrighty, so that's the base. That's the framework of my wig. Oh, I like how this is turning out. I got a little bit of a ripple there, but I don't think you can see it too bad. Okay, now let's look at what's actually going on in the week. So this is actually a holiday. So I did pull this sheet from Planner K and let's see what kind of colors do we have here. I've got kind of this blue that kind of ties into that. So let's use this one. And we're just going to put this right here. I'm just going to kind of just overlap the washi a little bit there. And then this actually says Happy Fourth of July. So I'm going to put this in here. I don't know. I kind of want to put it down low. So that means I'm going to have to try to move this paw a little bit. Because what I want to do is, since Fourth of July is celebrated kind of like more in the evening time, I want to put this down a little lower in my day and then we'll put the paw back here just overlap it I wonder if I should put it under here no I think it was better over here we'll just let that overlap a little bit on that sticker that's fine by me okay so that's that and then also we have tons of birthdays this week you're gonna see so my friend Spencer from work it's his birthday so I want to put him here because I want to remember to text him to wish him a happy birthday. Okay, and then on Tuesday, what do I have? I don't have anything going on on Tuesday work, so this is awesome. Full open, no meeting scheduled. I will get a lot of work done. I will spend a lot of time with Christina. And then on the 6th, it's my sweet girl, Isla. It's my god baby. It's her birthday. Shex returns four. Her party's going to be that Saturday. So I'm going to put that there. And then let's put something cute for her you know what since i'm going to do these little balloons kind of right between her and spencer so it kind of kind of works for both of them there we go that's cute okay and then um so that's all i have for tuesday oh wait sorry i said her birthday was on the sixth and then i put her sticker on the fifth yikes bad auntie there we go. So then the balloons are going to come over here with Isla. Sorry, Spencer. You're not going to have balloons sharing on your... <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there's that. Oh my gosh. I'm a goof. How crazy, right? Okay, so what else do I have on Wednesday? Wednesday we have our staff meeting. So I'm going to put that right below Isla. And that's at 9. And I pulled my ever-changing plans staff meeting because I want to put this blue on here. I think this is going to look good. Put that there. And then what else do I have? Oh, I have a two o'clock work group meeting. So we'll just put this a little lower in the day. That there. And then what else do I have on Wednesday? I think that's it. Okay, then on Thursday, let's see. I have a 2 p.m. On Thursday, so we'll just kind of put this sort of like in the middle of the day there. And then on Friday, let's see, it's my friend Michelle's birthday. She's one of my friends from work. So Friday, we'll put her birthday here. I told you I had a lot of birthdays in this one week. So I just wrapped Isla's gift and I just wrapped a little gift that I have for Michelle. Okay, so there's that. And then... What else? On Saturday is my sister-in-law Hope's birthday, but it's also Isla's party. So I'm gonna put Hope down here at the top. Okay, so there's that. And then let's do a cute little, I kinda like this one. I don't know, they're all so cute. I like the little stars. But I was thinking I could use one of these bigger ones for Isla's birthday, but I'm not sure what time her party is. I think I am going to, let's see, let's pull. I think I have some happy birthday font, uh, scripts, sorry, fonts. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. Oh, I think I want to use this thinner one. Okay, so there's that. What if I do 
something like this. I'm gonna put this here like this, little happy birthday. And then I'm gonna put Isla's party. Okay, that's cute. I remember when I was little and I didn't know Isla was spelled like this. <laughs> it's Isla's party. I'm gonna put it, It's I think it's in the afternoon. So I'm just gonna put it like this, kind of like down here, close enough. So she's on Saturday. Okay, so then what else do I have going on, friends? Let's take a look at, okay, so I don't have a payday. She already got paid. And let's see what else is on here. Just some little headers. These, this actually, friends, if you didn't know, if you don't use, if you haven't purchased an ever-changing plans kit, these are all separate little header pieces here too. I remember I, I, when I first used a weekly kit, I thought this strip of washi went all the way across and then I realized it didn't. Okay, so then let's go here. So I've got a cupcake. So why don't we do this here? So it's kind of between Michelle and my sister-in-law, that's kind of sweet, right? Let's put a shoe down for walking. I love all these shoes that you get because you can do one for every day. I'm gonna put this up here for my little walking space. And then let's see, what do we have here? Any kind of other like appointment, don't forget. I'm looking for something for trash. Is that a trash can, do you think? Or does that look like a coffee cup? Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna pull one of my trash day. I love all these to-dos, two friends. Dinner, meals, grocery, to buy laundry. I'm just double checking myself because you know I'm terrible. As soon as I say I don't see it, then it'll be there. Okay, I'm gonna pull a trash day sticker. So I have these from Fern Creek stickers. I have it in black and I have it in color. But I was thinking I could maybe do the colored one because it kind of looks close to this. And I could put Trash Day up here at the top, just above the washi there. So that's Trash Day. And I think that is also going to be a recycle day. So let me get me a little recycle icon. Okay, these are from Big Elephant Plans. So I'm just gonna put this little guy here so I can remember that the recycle goes out. Okay, this is so happy. It's so bright and happy. And then look, I have all of these boxes here where I could fill in um, as long as like my week doesn't get away from me and all kinds of stuff gets booked. Because here I am excited to have a week in the office with very few meetings, I only have these three. <sighs> that will probably, my free time will probably get stolen from me. So, alrighty, I think this is looking good, friends. I am so excited. So again, lots of full boxes here to fill in. So much more icons, scripts, that kind of thing, couple of little scripts there, and then a few pieces of headers here, and then some more of these little checklist things, a payday, and some more boxes here that I can use. So lots left to make use of. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, friends, I love this. This is so cute. Again, this was from Ever Changing Plans. It's the 4th of July. Party like it's 1776 kit. All right, friends, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.